A day full of photography adventures that could fit inside of a small camera bag? That's the dream that I and many photographers have, and in this video, I'll share a pair of lenses that helps to make that happen. These are the 24 to 50 millimeter f2.8 G and the 16 to 25 millimeter f2.8 G lenses. A day of photography and content creation usually requires a variety of different focal lengths to get the job done. When it comes to photography, I'm typically shooting things at 24, 35, and 50 millimeters. Every so often, I want something wider to maybe capture a big scene or whenever I'm wanting to vlog and show the environment that I find myself in. That could easily become four different lenses that I would need to carry, maybe more depending on where it is that I'm going. And chances are I'd end up needing to bring a large bag with me to carry everything. That's why I'm loving this setup that I'll be showing you here today. My main camera in my camera bag is the Alpha 7CR, and I have it kitted with some helpful accessories, including this thumb grip, an Arca Swiss extension grip that hides an air tag, just in case my camera is lost or stolen. And I've also covered up all the branding with black tape to make this stealthy look. This camera captures amazing high resolution images and it has amazing autofocus, especially when you pair it up with the right lenses. That's where the first of these two lenses comes into the game. The first lens we'll talk about is the 16 to 25 millimeter F2.8 G series lens. Weighing in at only 409 grams, it's a lens that I don't mind carrying around on a long day of shooting and it's loaded with features. That F2.8 aperture is important if I'm gonna be shooting all day as I'm able to use it in low light situations and I could get great images. Getting shots at that ultra wide 16 millimeter focal length ensures that I could take in everything into a frame that looks sharp, bright, and colorful. Whenever I get around to vlogging about my day or experience, this is the lens that makes its way onto my Alpha 7 CR. And thanks to the linear motors inside, it's able to keep up with the advanced autofocus features that this camera provides. It's a worry-free combo for me that lets me focus on capturing images and video without getting bogged down in the technical process of creating. That lens covers the ultra-wide and the wide things that I need to capture in a day, but if you remember what I said earlier, I'm typically shooting my stills at 24, 35, and 50 millimeters. That's where this next lens comes into the picture. This is the 24 to 50 millimeter F2.8 G, and it looks nearly identical to the 16 to 25. The weight is very similar as well, only weighing 440 grams, and it has all of the same functionality, including a declickable aperture ring and a customizable focus hold button. Inside, there are linear motors that could keep up with every action that the world can throw at me, and it even keeps up with the high frames per second shooting of my pro camera bodies like the Alpha 9 III. I also like that for those times where I need to film something on a gimbal, the center of balance on these two lenses are so close that it often doesn't require any kind of rebalancing on the gimbal. Being able to hot swap lenses like that while I'm out filming is a big time saver for me. Both of these lenses have a 67 millimeter diameter, so I can bring one set of filters like my variable ND filter, and I could use them across both lenses. The bottom line is, I just love this combination. Having lightweight, compact zoom lenses with an f2.8 aperture has been a dream of mine, as I'm sure it's been for many of you. Be sure to get your hands on these lenses and try them out, and you'll see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. If you have any questions about these lenses or my setup, let me know in the comments section and be sure to check out the videos that I made about these two lenses individually to learn more about them. I'll see you there.